What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video today. Where I don't know why I did this with my hands, but it looks cool in the camera. Um welcome back to a brand new video. I might may look a little bit tired because yesterday we had a barbecue here with a lot of friends. We went out, no drinks. Um and uh, it was quite late, so that's why hopefully the wind is not that bad. It's not really windy right now. Right now it is. But we're gonna jump into the Q&A. Today we're gonna do a q and I decided to do q and on Snapchat again, so make sure to follow me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Jasper Snaps, J-Z-P-R Snaps. You can also check out the barcode right here. And um, so let's get right into the questions. We got some questions. We got a lot of them. So we're gonna start right off. Other than fitness, one of my favorite things is to do. Uh, playing video games, just hanging out with my friends, making vid making videos, obviously. Um, yeah, playing soccer. If you could be an animal, what would you be and why? I feel like this is a really good question. I feel like my favorite animal has always been the um, jaguar or the panther. Because they're really fierce and really strong and also very quick. And I like that. So I'm gonna go with Panther. Who is your biggest inspiration in life? Hey, My biggest inspiration in life? That's a hard one. Um, I don't really see a person, like one person, as my inspiration. Uh, apart from this, is gonna sound really dumb and really egocentral. Egocentrical. I don't know, whatever the word is. But I, I inspire myself a lot, quite a lot. And, you know, I don't mind saying this, but um, you have to, like, it's kind of a mindset thing. It's not like anything cocky or it's not like, oh, I love myself and I'm the best. It's more like I've looked at my achievements from the past, like, or I look like where I came from in terms of fitness. And I look at myself like, damn, I did pretty well so far. So... I take inspiration from that. From an outside person, I would say like people like Tommy, like Temper, um, Sensei. I I took a, I take a lot of inspiration from Sensei because um, Sensei, this this dude is just he's everything, you know. He's very smart. He's such a good human being. Yeah, I would say Sensei and a lot of myself um, in terms of life motivation or inspiration. I don't really want to do myself because I'm not at the point where I can look back. I'm like at the point where I would look to when I look back. So it's like the, the start of the hill. Um, there's a life like sensei. I would say sensei. I, I told you guys I wouldn't do um, text because I feel like I want to show you guys here on the, on the video as well. So that's what fun. is your favorite chest workout? My favorite chest workout or exercise. Uh, my favorite. I would say workout because he, he has workouts, so it probably meant workout. But um, it would start something with a bench press, then a incline dumbbell press, then a hammer strength machine decline press ish, um, then a pullover maybe, and some flies, some cable flies. Ever, could you give me tips for someone who is uh, skinny fat? Um, like, what should I do? Should I bulk, cut, mini cut? Shout out from Australia. All right, Australia, represent. I got a lot of people like from Australia for some reason. Um, but your skinny, f uh, I'm gonna replay this. Fuck, it's the wrong one, bro. Oh wait, I can replay this too. Hey, bro, could you give me tips for someone who is uh, skinny fat? Skinny um, fat, I don't know what that means. Skinny fat, that's kind of contradicting. Um, I guess you're starting at a little bit of a point where you have some body fat, but you're not fat fat. I guess that's, that's what I, it means. I don't know. Um, yeah, bro, bulk first. Um, get some muscle, build some muscle, and then when you, because also it's not gonna like when you bulk, like you're not gonna extremely bulk a lot. So when you bulk and train, uh, obviously you're gonna tone yourself up a little bit as well. So it would look like you're not as fat anymore, but you're also toned. So it would make more sense um, to do that because. Um, if you cut first, I mean, 
cutting first would be something if you're like you're like really unhappy with the way you look and that discourages you to go to the gym i would say cut first but if you want to just build muscle and you want to get big i would say bulk up first and you know accept that you're a little bit fatter looking in a sense and then cut after some years hey jasper i have two questions who or what inspired you to start weight training and what are your goals for 2016 by the way you're awesome okay so the first part of the question i answered a lot so i'm not going to answer that but it was my friend what's my goal for 2016 uh, it's quite a i'm not sure yet actually and uh, we're already in july august august oh my god we're already in august um I mean, my goal for 2016 would probably mainly be to grow face fitness to something where it's uh, a thing, a big thing in the community, um, something that's respected by a lot of people, and hopefully we can help a lot of these young gamers who want to start working out with some workouts and um, inspire them. And that would be my main goal for 2016. For my personal goals, uh, I don't want to say numbers, but you know. To grow, keep growing, I guess. To keep growing and, and put my name out there. What is your favorite football club in Holland? My favorite football club in Holland is PSV. Um, I'm from Eindhoven. It's the club I support. It. I just watched the game actually. We won 1-0. Uh, it was a boring game, by the way. But um, yeah, I support PSV. Did anything change your life when you joined FaZe? Well. When I joined FaZe, I also decided I would take a break from college and pursue this. So I guess you could say a lot has changed since then. Favorite arm exercise and how big are they? Hashtag green wall. Um, we're at the hashtag phase up right here, boy. You're the Warren channel. But um, favorite arm exercise for um, biceps cut right now. It changes a lot, but um, either hammer curls or easy bar curls. Um, triceps, I would say... Right now, um, skull crushers. And um, how big are my arms? I never measure my arms. I don't really plan on doing it ever. It's not like, oh, it's probably so small that you're embarrassed to tell. It's not like, like that. It just doesn't matter. I don't care. It shouldn't define, and like that number doesn't define who I am or what I stand for. No, I, I, really, I really don't think it is. It's interesting for me to know. Okay, so I recently, when I came back from Greece, lost a lot of weight. So I went from 159 to like 154-ish, 153, uh, which was obviously a very big, you know, setback for me. But we're, you know, going back into it. Uh, I reached uh, 159, which was really... I worked hard for that because I'm very bad with eating. I'm very not a big eater at all. And I don't gain weight easily because my metabolism is fast as, as hell. So I have to eat a lot. Um, but I was eating 3,000 calories around that. Um, I think 150 grams of protein, um, 375 carbs, I think, and 100 fat around that number. I, don't quote me on it, it's around those numbers. If you are not sore the next day after a workout, it wasn't an effective workout. Um, I don't think so because um, sometimes I'm not sore after a workout. After legs, I'm always sore. Um, so that's a good thing, I guess. After abs, I'm usually sore. Um, but chest, I'm not. Ne I'm probably never sore after chest. Um, back, I'm sometimes I'm sore. Arms, nah, not really. Um, but I made still made progress the last year, so. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's when you have that, when, like I did, um, when you never get any pain anymore or any, any soreness, I think you, it's time to switch things up. And um, that's something I'm definitely gonna do. Um, something I ignored for a while, I think. Um, but I really need to switch my routine up with exercises and rep ranges, sets, um, because you no, know, it's not working anymore. So change it up so we get sore again puppies or kitties hope I'm not too late we got a female specimen in here um, puppies or kitties that's a hard question what are my one rep maxes I do not know I do know for deadlift I do not know for squat and I do not know for bench uh, overhead press I do not know either um, for school for deadlift <laughs> the one I know um, I mean check quite, quite happy with it 360 deadlift for one.
Can I be in a video? You're in a video, bro. Oh my god. What's the best snack to bring to school that is high in protein? A protein bar. See what you did there? Some good back exercises. Deadlifts, rack pulls, pull-ups, straight-on pull-downs, wide grip pull-downs, chin-ups, um, dumbbell rows, low row. And those are eight good, you know, good exercises for back. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Focus, thank you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this relaxing Sunday upload. I wanted to update guys, um, upload something for you guys so you can enjoy your Sunday like I am. It is quite beautiful outside. My sister is cooking a nice meal, some rice, some chicken, some broccoli, <laughs> some very um, easy and quite boring recipes. But those are, those are the best. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys hopefully very soon. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be vlogging all day. Like usual. So I'll check in with you guys in the next video. Also, tomorrow the giveaway winners will be announced. Check Twitter at Jasper Fitness. I can't wait to see who won. Maybe it's you. You never know. You might be the winner of a $50 Amazon gift card. Or some G Fuel. You never know. You just never know. But I'll see you guys later. Deuces.